Hi right, guys, the gaming teacher here, and we are going to start today with something different. Uh, we've got Rome Total War. Uh, Rome Total War was one of the first games that I played um, as a kid when I, when I was younger. Um, it was it was a Total War game. Um, well, I say a kid, I was a teenager, really, to be perfectly honest. But I got a PC. We didn't have a PC, and then we got a PC, and I got uh, Rome Total War, which uh, was one of the first strategic games that I played. I had played the previous show. On one Total War, um, but that was on other computers, friends' computers, for example. And um, uh, when Rome came out, it was my main game that I used to play. It was fantastic. Um, I, I loved it. You can control thousands of troops on the screen at once. The graphics was great in comparison to Shogun, the first Shogun. It was 2D, you know, flat characters on the screen, and then they put 3D characters, and each character had an individual um, go about it. So, for example, the mechanics they used on the old Shogun uh, game, but, but they just fought as a, as a block. They weren't individual pieces, but in, in Rome Total War you can see that the, the people are indivi uh, individual, the soldiers are individual. Okay, so if Rome Total uh, War, I've, I'm, I don't know if you guys are going to like it, we'll see how it goes, and what I'm planning to do is go through the Total War series. Um, Total War is, is another uh, great uh, strat strategy game that I love playing. A bit about it, it's about the Creative Assembly, it was released in 2004 and it based its campaign is based upon the late Roman Republic and the early Roman Empire as well. So we have kind of a mixture of Rome in its finest. There's also Rome 2 um, which we will potentially get onto at one stage if you can't like the Total War series and if you would like to see me play more of it of course I would like to work my way through it. Okay, so uh, let's get to it. So what I'm going to do, single player, and I'm going to start with the uh, Imperial campaign, and we're going to go with the Roman, the Judii family. Okay, um, I'm going to serious advice to off. I'm pretty comfortable with the game. Um, campaign difficulty, I'm going to set to hard. Um, the battle difficulty I'm gonna keep on medium now I've read up on this the reason why I'm keeping it on medium is not because I can't handle the AI it's because the AI gets um, buffs so to speak what happens they become they have stronger morale they have stronger um, attack they have stronger defense they don't run as easily they don't, um, flee as easy I should say so instead of making the AI harder by um, tactics they just make it more difficult to beat by increasing their performance which is not fun to be honest and it's not fair so what we're going to do we're going to play the campaign and we're going to have a short campaign uh, hold 15 provinces and destroy or outlast the following factions go um, if we want to see a, a bigger campaign a bit later on i'll do it but this is just a short campaign i'm only going to do 15 provinces and then we move on from there so let's begin so I, i'm quite happy with how the game Total War, I'm really happy with the series. Um, the only thing, I've got all the Total War games, um, I've, I've been out and bought well, every single one of them, um, but I've had this for quite some time. Um, so I went out, uh, got them, and I haven't got the Warhammer one. The uh, reason being, it doesn't interest me as much as the uh, historical ones. Um, that's just me, it's just my kind of game. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, so we've started and we've got a Senate mission straight away. Um, we've got to do. Uh, we've got a Senate in in Rome, and we've got to fight for there. We've got to fight for popularity of the Senate, and we've got to fight for popularity of the people. And they're kind of um, against each other. So if you if you win over the people, the Senate dislike you more. If you win over the Senate, the people dislike you more. We'll see when we get into the game. So the first mission that we've got to do is we've got to take Suggesta. Okay, and the reward you will be greatly rewarded. So we can we can start with that. Okay. Um I'm hoping the sound's not too low or high. I think you can just about hear it, so it's good. Yeah, right. Let's just alter this just for two minutes. Let's just see it gets get some special effects up, music just a tiny bit. I don't want it too loud, but we can change it in the next one if it's too loud. Okay, so um, we've got some troops here. We've got Astarte, uh, Triarii, and Roman archers. So how about we join these armies together? It would be good if we did that. And let's have a look at what we can construct. 
Okay, now, at the moment, our recruitment, we can get these two troops. It'd be nice to get some uh, better troops. In fact, can we get archers eventually? Now, if we can, you can click here, show building browser. And if we go to the archery unit, yeah, this is what I want, Roman archers. I think Roman archers are hugely important. Um, so we're going to go for building scenario ranges and let's have uh, a, a remunium, if I've got that correct. Um, we're going to have a financial district. So let's have, let's do some paved roads, get the roads going. And we are asked to take Suggestor as our first mission. So what we're going to do is take this army and let's take them and we're going to assault this straight away. I think I think they've got a big enough army, I'm not sure. Let's have a look. Yeah, we can take them. They've got Warband and Barbarian Peasants. So let's let's get let's dive straight into this. Let's let's do our first battle. First battle of the Total War series. I mean, of course, let me know what you guys think of the game. I mean, if I'm not going to continue with it if you guys don't like it, but of course, I, I actually love playing the game. Um, but we'll see anyway. Um, Rome 2, I don't know, I, I played Rome 2, I've got Rome 2. Um, well, get, don't get me wrong, the graphics are amazing, but um, I never got the feeling as I did with the other Total War games as I did with Rome 1. When I played Rome 1, I was like, wow, this is incredible. And I played it and I was thinking this is amazing you can control all these troops on screen this is my army um, a bit of a nerdy nerdy kid but um, I enjoyed it that was the main thing so right Over there stand the rebel okay I was a bit concerned there that it's just frozen up don't know what's happening okay Seems to be quite a bit of lag, I don't know why. I think um the lag seems to be a bit. Is it just me or is it just lagging? I'm not sure. Anyway, let's start this. So what we can do is we can take um our infantry and let's bring them over to here. Okay, and we're going to take Um, our cavalry and our missile troops at the back here so we've got kind of like a secure unit and let's group them how do we group them can we put them in a secure group yeah I think that's fine okay let's start the battle okay let's march forward ah, they seem to be going away the place I'm just wondering, I mean, the way they all, did you see that? They all just all kind of, um, not go where I want them to go. Oh, we had these here as well. Curario, that's fine. Oh, I see what's going on. They're just positioning themselves. Yeah, I don't know why it was a bit laggy just then. I don't know, maybe, I've just heard the computer on it. It seems to do that at times. I mean, I've got an updated graphics card. And I've played a lot, you know, Rome Total Wars, it's not, it's probably not a graphics problem. I mean, there is no lag in, I mean, I, I've played the updated Total Wars and I've tried recording with some of them. So it's not a graphical issue. There's no way that my graphics card cannot handle um, a game such as the first Rome. Um, I'm pretty sure, that in fact, my graphics card will be able to handle most of the... Uh, games that I will play in Total War series, um, but we'll see anyway. Uh, I do need to update it uh, eventually because I do like updating it as much as I can. Where are you going? Let's bring you up here. Okay, so let's run these troops up here as quickly as we can. From down here, and let's run you guys up here, and let's get our missiles. And we're going to run you guys up here. And I'm actually going to place all our infantry units on fire missiles. So if we press this little dis uh, button here, it allows them to fire missiles. Our cavalry, on the other hand, I'm going to bring around 
here so we can kind of flank them. I'm not even going to the cavalry, there are our generals. Then where's our Terrario? There we go. And you guys could come up here just in case. I think we'll be fine. So let's start moving these forward. Where are you going? No, we don't want you going this way. Can you please go around that way? Okay, let's bring you forward. And bring you forward. We're going to bring these to a support over here. To be honest, these Astari should be able to take out these barbarian peasants without no problem. This is what I was on with earlier. The um, each individual soldier seems to has its own own way of going about it. Really, I just move them forward, so it's not uh, just a box they follow. And I think that's what was missing in the old Total War games. They kind of reverted back to the Shogun kind of 2D kind of effect. And what I mean by that is they. Um, they, they, they'll lose some of the, the character of what you would expect if two forces came into contact with each other. Um, right, let's bring these troops over here. Let's start. Let's bring these cavalry and let's, let's support them. So, uh, for example, if I collided two troops together, you would see a big pushback of troops. Um, and, and that was missing in most of the other the new Total War games, it's missing quite a bit. I mean, they fixed it. I mean, when Rome um, came out, the Rome 2, there was quite a lot of bugs in that, and it didn't get the reviews that it should have. All right, let's bring these troops in. Are you going to take the time? Let's go. Okay, and I believe, let's rally our troops just for the sake of it, because we can. So we've got a crush in victory here. Of course it's not as always as easy as this. We did put the campaign difficulty on hard. Um, difficulty of battle with medium. I mean so we should win this battle without a doubt. But this is what I was talking about. We wouldn't be able to win it. would take a lot longer to win this against uh, peasants when we've got all these superior numbers. Okay let's end battle. We can um, clear up normally but I'm not going to do that because we've taken the city and they're going to be ours anyway. So, men deployed, 638, we had 237 kills, and only 13 of us uh, were lost uh, by them. So, they had um, 13 kills. Okay, so, um, yeah, I mean, the the idea is is that if I do decide to put the battle difficulty on high, we're going to get a very unfair advantage, rather than just a difficult uh, opponent. Okay, so that's done. Fantastic, we took suggest that. So that's our, let's occupy settlement, that's our uh, mission done. Uh, you've been granted a gift of 5,000 denarii. Fantastic. All right, let's take our spy into Gaul. And let's take a diplomat into, have we got trade with these Romans? Let's see. Yeah, I think we do have trade with all the other Romans, so that's good. And let's take our diplomat up and let's concentrate on any buildings yep i think we're done with that so let's end turn quite a productive turn there all right gauls wanted trade rights um you know what i'm going to say no normally i'll say yes but we're going to go to war with them and we need to get them not very really liking us very much so i'm going to say no thank you and we're going to start building our army so we can start to move up into gaul and hit them wider at their beginning state. So you will be rewarded with one minor exotic unit. Uh, the Senate asks you to take this segment for the glory of the Empire. Oh wow, that's far. Okay, well let's bring our troops into... Let's take our army out. In fact, I'm going to take this army and I'm going to bring it back to our capital and we're going to retrain I think we can retrain our units, only some of them. The unfortunate we can't train the likes of the troops that we cannot recruit in the settlement. So I think once we do a practice range, we'll be able to recruit some. Um, actually, I need to take a general out because, yeah, the city's quite unhappy. Okay, let's start building some troops. Uh, we don't want town watch. I'm not too fond of them. Uh, let's see if we can build some Hastate. So let's build a couple or a few and suggest that let's start building a governor's house 
happy done with that. Um, end of term report, everything's good, income's good, we're in a positive income, which is good. Fantastic, so let's end turn. I really did enjoy this game. Uh, you know, I haven't played it in years. This is the first time I've played it, but it's, it's fresh to me like it was yesterday. Um, profits, um, we're, we're negative because we was doing a lot of spend in that round. Construction complete, good. Uh, recruitment report, yes. And diplomatic um, information. We've got the Greek cities at war with Carthage, SPQ, and the House of Scipii. Okay. Right, so how are we doing with our training? Are these tra yeah, the training's done. So let's start taking this army out. Let's take him with one commander. We don't want to bring what in fact no, we've got enough. No, we haven't. Let's let's take our troops out, the ones that are complete, so we don't get confused. That's pretty much all of them. And we can start by building some more troops just while we wait. So we've got a heavily Hastate army. And let's start moving them up. We can kind of bring in reinforcements a bit later. We've got rebels here. Actually, let's take out the rebels. It will give us some training as well. As soon as we get a heavily numbered, a heavy, huge number army, I think we should be fine. Let's take out these rebels, get them out of our lands. Right, we can um, produce Velites. Uh, do I want some? Yeah, we'd have one of them. Let's pick one. Now, can we get a stables? And we can get some cavalry in that. Hopefully we can get cavalry before the army marches off to do their target. Um, I'm also a bit concerned of how long we've got to take that target, actually. Good, Hastate. War declared. Tell you what we do. How many spaces we've got available? We've got quite a few. How long have we got to do that mission? The Senate. Senate missions. Eight turns. Yikes. We've got three turns for the horses to be produced. Yeah, we're going to have to just beat the rebels back, then march our way up to. Yeah, I don't think we're going to make it. I don't know how many turns it's going to take to get there. We might have to turn around. I'm going to turn around because I'm not sure how long it's going to take to get there. We've got one, two, three, maybe four turns. And we can build another army here in our capital so that we can concentrate on these areas here. So we can have two armies on the go. Uh, and we've got Hastate being built. And Vilites, let's build some more Hastate. So we're not in negative, we should be fine. Now, as I said, I want this to be our... Um, our buildings to help us gain an income. So let's have a trader in the region. And let's bring our diplomat to other nations so we can start to trade. Let's bring it right because I think there's more nations that way. I think we've got Spain here and we've got the... We've got... I don't know what they're called actually. I was going to say United Kingdom, but they're not. Um, the Kel Celtic? The Celtic? Uh, oh, I forgot. I forgot what, what the name of the, um, the nation up here. Obviously, I know it's in England now, but they're, they're, they're called something. Um, uh, I forget. Okay, anyway, we'll find out. We'll find out. And we've, of course, we've got Carthage down in the south of the Mediterranean. Or north of Africa. Okay, so let's move our army up. Let's move them straight through Gaul. I'm a bit concerned that this is not going to be a big enough army. Especially with the likes of Gaul breathing down our neck. So let's take some more troops as reinforcements. Um, we've got one bow of archers. Yeah, that should be okay. Hopefully. Can we get some information? Oops, I forgot before that was our spy. Yep, it's good. Okay, traders on its way. Uh, stable's almost done. What can we do here? Good, so let's start building these um, shrines. Population growth. We do need a bigger population here. Public order due to happiness, uh, public order. Let's increase our population because our population is quite low here. So we're going to increase the population in this settlement and we're going to enter. 
Uh, Ghoul wants trade rights? No, because we're going to go to war with you very soon, so there's no point. Even though we could gain some income from that, but they're also going to gain income from it, so no. A suitable husband. Uh, age 21. This man is suitable addition to the family. Do you want him to marry your noble daughter? I'm going to say yes, because we are like to have as many generals as we can. Every time um, a daughter gets married, we gain a general. Let's move this troop up. Hopefully they'll get there before... Uh, the army gets to the target. Okay, end of term report. Again, we're in the pot negative because we're buying quite a few things. Construction reports, unit recruitment, and marriage celebrations because we've got a new general. Right, the um, shrine is done. So let's build some walls around this place. We need some walls here. And let's build a shrine here. Population is quite good here. But I've got a feeling it might not be too happy here eventually, especially with uh, swine. Is it swine? <laughs> Where, where's our... No, go away you. Where's our show set more details? Squalor! Um, yeah, so eventually, as the big cities, they get very filthy. So if we can build a shrine to help the happiness of people... Public order due to happiness, public order due to law, public order due to happiness 10%. Let's do 10 of 5. In fact, let's have a look at the building browser. Uh, wait, if we go back to that, what is this? Shrine to Jupiter. Because each shrine would give us a particular troop, I believe. So, shrine to Jupiter, and eventually what we'll get, we'll get the. Yeah, can I? I'm not sure what that is. Yeah, I believe we get a troop with the Shrine to Jupiter, so we're going to go ahead with that. And in our last place, let's have a look at our building settlement. Let's have a look at the settlement details. People are quite happy. Um, it's supposed to be income, but um, income's quite low here, so we need to start building that income as we suggested. So let's build... Let's build a market, and then we need to start building some sewers because as we start to build more income and traders in in, um, in the area, we're going to have an increase in the number of um, dirt and just unpleasantness. Okay, so let's build some equites here. Let's build two and hopefully a three. We might be able to march our army up there as quickly as we can. Okay, let's end turn. It's all looking positive. All looking good. Uh, rebels, rebel factions. Okay, so let's march them slowly into Gaul. We're going to pass that settlement, even though it's a rebel town. And I'm a bit concerned of. There's a Senate. Senate missions, we've got four turns to get there in. Uh, one, two. We potentially might be able to do it. Just might be. I don't know if our troops will be able to get there, the reinforcements in time though. But it'd be nice to take it before the mission runs out, because we're always going to get something in, 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 in as a reward. Right, let's move our diplomat up. I mean, he seems to be laying there, just doing nothing. Okay, we are quite low on money this turn, so let's build some. Let's see what we can build here. Okay, let's go and build and go. Let's build some roads here. I think they increase income anyway. Uh, these minor roads have been made usable by the military only when necessary and for most part they are ancient tracks worn into the landscape created over generations. Uh, military engineers improve these ancient ways a little with simple bridges, a stony uh, roaded in marshy spots and by cutting back uh, vegetation. They are not ideal but are certainly better than nothing. Yeah, the roads were definitely um, a big part of the Roman Empire. I mean, all over Europe you can see a reminiscence of the Roman Empire. I mean, I live in the UK and in the UK we have Roman, especially in the south as well, we have Roman re remains quite ev everywhere. Okay, let's start moving our troops tr uh, closer. Let's see what's going on. Um, income's low, treasury total in the minus now, so we need some more income as soon as possibly can. I think we've been building too many troops. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to 
stop these recruitments here. And yeah, we're in the negative. We're not gonna be able to buy absolutely nothing at the moment. So I'm so concentrating on building up army, I've just totally forgotten about the um, income situation. Are we in the positive? I think that's be just because of um, we've stopped the production of the equities. Um, we get negative income in these two populations here. Let's see if we increase tax rate. It's going to be. It's still not going to be very happy with us, but we can increase the happiness another way. Okay, Gaul's on their way. Their diplomat. Don't know what their diplomat's doing. Okay, let's let's move. Let's attack now while we're here. Uh, we're in the negative as well. Construction complete, but the market war declared. Uh, Thrace with Darcia. Okay, let's attack, and we can get this. Oops. Uh, we got two turns. That means we got to build the siege equipment and attack straight away. We're at war now. Uh, let's bring these troops as quickly as we can. I've got a feeling they're going to attack us. However, if they attack us, I think we can take them. Warband against Hastate. And what have we got here? Could we attack these peasants yet? Uh, probably not. I'd rather get a big army just to be sure. Okay, let's end turn. We need to build our income. Our income's low in the negative. But as soon as we take that settlement, it'll be extra income for us. And also we'll get the... Um, we get the reward. We're getting attacked, which is fine. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, we've got a uh, general and we've got 400 troops with barbarian cavalry, warband, skirmisher warband, and barbarian, uh, barbarian mercenary. So let's go to war. Find the battle map. I'd be interested to see if it lags again, like it just did before. I'm, I'm, I'm quite. I'm not sure what that was. Um, we'll see anyway. It might be just the beginning of each game. Reach battle, I should say. Okay. In peace, sons bury their fathers, but in war, fathers bury their sons. Very true. Oh, it looks like we are in the forest. Okay, no lag. Right, I hate battling in the forest, so, and the Romans are not very, they're good for open ground. Uh, barbarians are good at fighting in the forests. Let's see if we can take these troops. Aha! Perfect. Right, let's get, um, let's get these infantry and get them at the front. Uh, missiles we'd have right behind them and our cav which is just our general on the side and back and our terraria which we forgot last time would be on the side to protect us from um, cavalry in fact what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put the, the spear unit here because it's very likely they might apply might do I don't know somewhere in the middle I'm just might might be yeah they did right let's take our infantry all of them and let's move them up here uh, missiles. Let's quickly move them down here. Let's take out this big unit before we've got the cavalry units at the back. So let's take them here. Let's take our terrarii to deal with that general. As quickly as we can. So let's put them back here. Yeah, they're going to gain the upper ground. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take all the um, troops and I'm going to halt them. And let's just space out a bit and let's put them on missile throwing and our missiles on. You guys could protect them with your missiles it's in stop skirmisher mode. I, I like to move them myself. Um, I think we're going to have our general right up close with our troops. Our Terraria is going to deal with the general, which is coming back on horseback. Okay, as soon as they start throwing, we we'll start attacking. But hopefully they'll throw the javelins as quickly as they possibly can. Yeah, we should be able to deal with that. Let's fire them. Good. How many do we take down? That was a good amount. Let's, let's attack them before. Let's see if we can tap these. Let's bring our general closer. Let's rally the men. Okay, there. Let's bring them round. 
Actually, you are, uh, I'm, I'm a bit wary of that. that that general at the moment. He's gonna he's gonna come right in. Let's bring these in. Let's a melee attack and let's bring them here. In fact, we can probably take them there. Right, they're rallying their troops. Let's take this unit over here. Good, rallying. Let's take out this general as quickly as we can. A bit worried about this terraria. I'm sorry, a bit spur of this general here. Okay. They're on their way here. Let's move these over there. Let's bring these troops back. Let's don't want to split up. Always stay our troops together. That'd be good. Where's our general going? Go away. Come back here. Where's our terraria? Let's bring them close. Come on. As soon as yet, yeah, spearmen have got them. Right, let's let's bring these troops down here. Let's bring these two over here, and we're going to bring you over here. Barbarian light -like mercenaries. Let's charge in with our general. Should it cause too much fuss for our general? Hopefully not. I hope not. I don't think they're good with spears, I'm not sure. Got the heavy cavalry there, let's bring our spearmen up as well. Let's bring our troops over here. In general, we can go at the back again and our missile troops come a bit closer. Can you attack? Maybe good if you can. Move the general out of there. Come on, get out, get out, get out. Ah, our general's fleeing. And he's fleeing from the enemy. Unbelievable. You can come back now, it's fine. Unbelievable. He flees. Coward, general. Coward. It's because I rushed him out. But at the same time, I wanted to do that. Right, the enemy general's fleeing. Good. Right, general, he's back. You coward. You've got a huge army, you, your enforcers outnumber them. We two to one. But no. He's over here. I think we I'm not sure if we did alright. <laughs> I think I think we managed I'm not very good with micro uh, managing my troops. Come on, I think these people have just got to get cool, catch up with these. This is why we need cavalry. We're quite low with a uh, mobile unit. Okay, let's let's continue. Let's get mop up as many of these as we can. Let's take our general and do the coward thing and mop up the ones that are fleeing because he's a coward. Right, I don't want the general. You can move forward. Uh, let's bring our infantry uh, missiles and bring them behind our infantry. And Terrarii at the side, just to clean up a bit, make it look very nice. Right, then then infantry units are going to catch up with them, it's all about the horses now. So let's just, yeah, they're, they're way gone, let's, let's, um, don't want to fire missiles, in fact, we turn them off because I've got a feeling they're going to hit our general, and we're going to lose our general, not only is him fleeing as well. Okay, good, it was a victory. Just gotta wait for these to go off the field now. So if we mop up, that it, it does help us in the long run, because on the on the campaign map they don't have the troops anymore. Right, guys, a well-earned victory. Apart from our coward general, and he did to gain two experience points, which is good. We lost two archers in that battle. 388 kills. Uh, we lost quite a few. But we did good, we did okay. Oh, I forgot to mention, I have got Darth Mod on. Uh, Darth Mod does improve, if you're wondering why I've got um, a face of um, Star Wars there and then in the background, Darth Vader. Um, reason being is because it's Darth Mod. Darth Mod seems to have the symbol of Darth Vader, but it improves tweaks in the game. I did forget to say that, sorry. But Darth Mod is basically, it does improve tweaks. It's not the vanilla version I'm playing. It makes uh, the gameplay a bit better. Ah. 
Okay, well let's just sort this, and I believe we can automatically resolve because we just did 14 troops. And are they quite happy? They are. Let's let's occupy settlement. I believe they'll be happy a bit eventually. As soon as we get, let's put tax rate on low. And we can't do anything there at the moment because we're in negative income. And let's have a look at here. I mean, enemy army route uh, routes. Uh, end of term report. We're in the negative income. But we'll work on that next time. <clears throat> and Senate mission successful. Mercenary hoplites, interesting. That's very interesting. And we've got a Greek infantry unit here. That, that could help us, that could. Okay, guys, well, we're going to end the episode there. So, what do you think? Is it something you would like to see continued? Is it something you would like me to pursue in regards to the Total War series? Um, I'm enjoying playing it. Just let me know what you think. Please comment, like, and subscribe. It will mean a lot to me. It will kind of show me that you're you're liking my videos. And what we'll do is we would I will go over for your comments and improve my games by the comments that you put down. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next episode. Bye for now.